one huge play, the only scoring play we had until about four and a half minutes to go in the game was huge. I mean, the, and uh, once he got a step on him, I knew that he was gone. Randall in the first half quarterback and he did some good things uh, but you also saw what he did at receiver and uh, those were two huge huge plays. I'm proud of the way our players were able to hang in there and compete and battle and uh, once we got a spark the energy definitely picked up on our football team and on our sideline, and, and they 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 went out and uh, made the plays they had to to to, to come from behind. Houston ten of the Wildcat twenty-five as we have played only two and a half minutes in this game. Georgia threatening. They put Danny Ware in a tailback. He's knocked down. Offensive staff's hoping for the same thing today, Rob. Now here's Woodson to throw on the first offensive play for Kentucky, and he's got Alfonso Smith out of the backfield and all. Woodson, Woodson is thrown. He's three for four, 21 yards. Third down and six here from the 49, and Woodson trying to run for the first down. He's got it down to the Georgia to the other end zone, but he didn't. He tried to drive it, and it was picked off. And they give it to their fullback, and he will not go anywhere. Brandon and one here to the right, David Jones. Woodson throwing over the middle, and he's got Dickie Lyons Jr. Lyons slips a tackle and goes down to the 26. This week, second down and seven yards to go, following a gain of three. Woodson to the near side of the field, and here's Tammy. Tammy down the sidelines, inside the 10. Goal at the five. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. That's Keenan Burton. Woodson. Touchdown. Keenan Burton. Holding on fourth down. Georgia leading 14 to 10. We still got 548 to go here first half. Woodson. Burton. Keenan Burton going up. Georgia back right up against its own goal line. Stafford throwing out of the end zone. It's intercepted. Look like Johnny Williams picked it up. He's not in, so I don't guess he's getting it this time. Second down and goal now the two and this pass will be tipped and picked off in the end zone. It's at the 42 so call it third down and three. Alfonso Smith threw a hole down inside the 30 to the 25. That was a gain of two second down eight yards to go Stafford. Now trying to is. find his way out of trouble and he can't do a penalty marker. down and two Woodson Curtis Pulley first down Under center as the cats work out of a staggered eye here Woodson looking into the end zone under pressure got it away and touchdown Keenan. and here's the junior Andy Bailey with the conversion and it's blocked and that keeps it at the Georgia three-yard line. Kentucky trailing, trying to take the lead here in the final minute and a half. Dixon to the goal line. Touchdown. A couple of timeouts left. First and 10 from the 48. Stafford back to the air. Overthrown and picked off. Picked off by Trevard Lindley. And Commonwealth Stadium here in Lexington. He's up there on the post. <laughs> I'll tell you, they're going to stay down on the field, Bill, and enjoy this one for a little while. Underneath to Locke, and Locke is going to take it in for six. Touchdown, Wildcats. And that's really what coaching is all about, trying to motivate and bring the best out of all your guys. So far in this game, the 
Pendulum swinging in George's favor, and a fumble knocked loose on the kickoff. And the Wildcats have recovered the loose ball. Knocked it away from Brandon Smith. Here's Cobb on the Wildcat. Got an alley. And Cobb is going to score. Touchdown, Kentucky. Seven. Newton, nice pass and a great catch. Touchdown, Wildcats. And right back in it. King with the catch. They set up the screen. Lock on his scooter. And man, is he going to scoot. He will go untouched. He can get it on lockdown. Derek Lock. And coverage mark. Here they come. They get some heat on Cox, and he's picked off. The Wildcats down to the Bulldogs' seven-yard line. Shane McCord with the interception. A sprint out pass run option. Here he goes. Keeps it himself. Stuffed again. And they called it a touchdown. A bad toss, and it's loose. Fumbled. Kentucky has it. Incredible, calamitous result for Joe Cox. Right here. 152 to go. Cox with time, oh. and picked off again. A cataclysmic turnover again by Joe Cox. 12, play action. Again, they want the deep ball. Again, going to Carr, and this time it's picked off. Calvin Harrison. First down at 10. Again, Newton to the skies. It's caught, but was it inbound? Yes, it's a catch for Chris Matthews. His first to the ball game. And after stopping Auburn on, on their first possession, it was Morgan Newton getting the call. And Newton earn, earning his keep early on in the second quarter on the quarterback keeper, the freshman, going in from five yards out. Touchdown, Kentucky, and the game tied. It's Fiddler's going to keep it himself. Touchdown, Kentucky. A little bit of delayed gratification, but the Wildcats will take it. Hand off. Derek Locke gets into that secondary and dives forward to the 46. The ball is loose. Auburn says they have it, but so do the Kentucky Wildcats. We'll sort it out. It's Kentucky football. Wildcat. Cobb has the football. And Cobb, what kind of speed does he have? Inside the 15, the 10, pushed out of bounds at the 3. Biggest play of the game for the Wildcats. Left side, he's got room. Touchdown, Kentucky. Their first lead of the ball game comes with 3.17 remaining. This is a big game, Mark, for both of these teams now. Pickney going to take off with it. Nowhere to go. Patrick Pickney sacked back at the six-yard line by Cole. Play fake by Hartline. Going up top. Has a man at the 25. It's caught. McCaskill again with another play for the Wildcats. Football team at halftime. Uh, I just, and this is key right here. Key. This first half drive. Well, first of all, they got to catch the kickoff, which they do this time for a change. This is Jones, and Jones with a nice alley. Jones busting out. One man to beat, and the turbo is kicked in. Wildcats going buck wild. Touchdown. What a great audition right here for Heartland. They blitz him, and he completes the pass. And then some. Touchdown, Kentucky. Langster. His players have felt his frustration. And a nice stop in the backfield on Rodgers by number four, Micah Johnson, one of their leaders at Lions. Lines. Swings in momentum. Kentucky first down on the pitch. This is Alfonso Smith. And he got a nice little block in a big alley. 
Smith down to the 15-yard line for the Wildcats. Season since 1991, potentially. Pickney under a little bit of heat and sacked back at the 17-yard line. And it's loose, still loose. Kentucky has it. Touchdown, Wildcats, Micah Johnson. Wow. Jeremy Jarman with the sack. Third and four. Dixon has the first down. Well, you use your timeout now. I'm not sure whether it matters or not. Third consecutive bowl win for the first time in school history. And Tony Dixon is the man of the night offensively. the old school defense and special teams winning the auto zone liberty bowl for the kentucky wildcats a couple of pivotal replays and sometimes it's it's all in the knees and it was tonight for kentucky they win it 23rd and 8 10th play of the drive there's the play pick underneath and good tackling and wrapping up by the kentucky defense Off that line of scrimmage now that defensive line Woodson with a pump fake and out and up has a man complete. Johnson again from his fellow wide receiver Keenan Burton. Little wide gap touchdown. Yeah, that's a great story. First down and ten. A little play fake. The ball hangs and it's picked off. Paul Warford with the steal and the interception put it on the ground. But Kentucky in formation. Casey Dick under the center. McFadden again for the third time and gets the same result. That Kentucky defense week that, hey, I won't be disappointed if my next one isn't a touchdown. Oh, set the bar pretty high. Michael Smith on the carry. Fumble, it's loose. Kentucky has it. Lindley coming back the other way. Oh, man, what a turnaround. A calamitous turnaround for the Razorbacks. Kentucky scores. Dramatic of a change of emotion. Woodson with the play fake. Completes it at the 32-yard line and still on the loose. It's Steve Johnson. Johnson with another. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky. His first catch of the second half here in the stadium. No question. Well, if he took a poll on the chance of him completing this pass for a first down in the stadium. And it's picked off. It's coming back the other way. Kentucky with another turnover, the third of the day. Marcus McClinton, even throughout practice, every practice every day. This pass complete to Stevie Johnson with good yards after the catch. And a good, as well as in the short term, Woodson firing complete. Burton with a great shake on the sidelines. Down to the 25-yard line, 8.07 to go. Max line in the bottom of the eye. Rock is the deep back, gets the call again. Bumped into Woodson, but got in for the touchdown. Yard line. Rock once again the deep back. Yeah, another, get another free run. Woodson trying to take advantage this time. Touchdown, Kentucky! What a grab by Burke! <laughs> Woodson gonna pass this time. Back of the end zone, and they get the two-point conversion. Burton yes. for it here. They've got to get to the 35-yard line. I think you have to go for it, Mark. Yep, to keep their hopes alive. Casey Dick, incomplete. Kentucky will take over on that. They've done it so far tonight. has been pretty impressive. Woodson has a man open. Complete to his tight end, Tammy. And it'll be first and this football games. put to get her out. This, this is the bandwagon to get on right We're now. We're on the bandwagon. Aren't we? Buy your ticket. Second down and goal, and Andre Woodson keeps it himself and gets the touchdown. Little at the deep man, ball is down, and he kicks it, and it's blocked at the 30-yard line. Scramble for it. Kentucky will pick it up, and the ball will be theirs at the 26th game. Yeah, for sure. On third down, Woodson, great protection. Got him Put over the middle, and it is touchdown. His head here, he won't give it back to him. Parker, and he's going to be necktied at around the 42. Line. You're out here to win a game, and, and regardless of the down people, tire him out. Running play goes straight up the middle, breaks out of a tackle. 40, 45, 50, middle down the sideline at the 30, and he will finally be pushed out of bounds. Win two years in a row at the Gaylord Music City. Ball. 
Boy, pressure on the quarterback, and it's caught anyway at the five. Touchdown, Steve Johnson. High formation, one wide receiver with a man in motion. And they give it straight ahead, and I'll tell you what, Holloway, the fullback, did not get there. This is the best starting position by Kentucky today. Near sideline, got it complete, and they're all the way to the third until halftime. Woodson, quick throw, got it complete. Stevie Johnson again breaks the tackle and gets all the real estate he can. They have a first and ten. The right thing. Florida State showing blitz. Possibly Woodson with another audible. And then they stay at home. No, delayed blitz. They got wide open. Ten yard line at the five. Dicky Lyons first and goal. Going to have a touchdown. Yes, a wide open. Raphael Little. Touchdown. Oh, here we go with the drop play. Little has five, has ten. He's in the loose. Cat it off at a night. was on line scrimmage, but I think a good enough receiver to play his pass. And goes left side. Touchdown. Got to take it to the 48-yard line. Parker in motion. They hand it off to him, and the fleet-footed one is not going to have the first down because it's down to nine. Florida State coming with a blitz off the corner. Pass is complete. Right call. Johnson. Johnson. Johnson touched him. Reminder, if you were turning on to ESPN looking for the game between the, the two uh, Tigers, it's over on ESPN 2, and an interception has been thrown, and it's Peters. Corey two Peters. down to 41. Weatherford over the middle. Ball is intercepted, and that's Micah Johnson. Micah Johnson down the far sideline. Goes. And movement. On the line. Could be a free play. Woodson. First down, Tammy. The tight end pulls it in and comes in territory. Johnson again. Touchdown, Kentucky. Into the South Carolina game to close the regular season. And this one may have gotten blocked. He missed it wide to the left. Kentucky. 10, 20 pounds on him. I figure he won't lose any speed coming off the edge. First and five inside handoff to James Davis. And he fumbled the ball. Kentucky's got it at the 40. Now Clemson ball at the 19-yard line. Reggie Merriweather, who's the third string running back into the game. He's a, a former uh, pass that's long, along the sideline. And uh, it's going to be ruled an interception. So Proctor gets picked off by Trevor Shotgun Lee. from the 27. Proctor, and it's caught by Stuckey. First down, Clemson. And Stuckey finally tackled at the 15, and he fumbled the ball. Kentucky's got it. <laughs> Trevard Lindley. Okay. Went in. How you block? Those things take a little time for folks to get back into their, their rhythm. Mastay's had an awful time trying to punt the ball. Had it blocked earlier. Here's a fake, and it's caught. And it's a first down for Kentucky. To the that little screen pass. On the fake. And now Woodson going deep. Man wide open. Caught. DeMario Ford. 10 5. Touchdown, Kentucky. To Ford. Third and 10. Woodson again fakes that inside handoff. And he's got a man. Steve Johnson inside the 30. Finally tackled inside the 20 yard line. Averaging just 16 points per game during that time. Stuckey lit up on the flanker screen, and the ball is out. They're going to roll it incomplete at the 41-yard line. What a hit by Kentucky defensively. Can come up with a stop on third down and seven. Proctor hit. Ball loose. Kentucky's got it at the 32. The short end of the field now. He should have a better opportunity. Play fake. Woodson has a wide open man. Dickie Lyon. And it's a Kentucky touchdown in Lexington. This is a good Clemson turnout, but mostly Kentucky fans here in a sold-out stadium. And leading by 15 and sacking Will Proctor on second and 10. Second and 10 of the 13. Woodson with time. Goes to the end zone wide open man. Touchdown, Tammy. Proctor in trouble. And he's sacked at the 18-yard line. Jeremy 
Jarman drags down the... And a flea flicker on third down and six. And the pass is caught for the first down by... Rod Gilmore, Trevor Maddich, and Stacey Dales, our entire ESPN crew. I'm Dave Pack. Now let's take you to Memphis, Tennessee for Houston and South Carolina. Here's Bob Wishes. Drill the Louisville player. You just can't do it. Woodson has a man wide open. It's caught. Steve Johnson. Touchdown, Kentucky. Seven thousand outside for the moment there to honor the Wildcats of Kentucky their quarterback Andre Woodson while inside the playing of my old Kentucky home. We join in the celebration of 75 years of SEC football this afternoon from Commonwealth Stadium. The undefeated Tigers of LSU come in 6-0 against the 17th ranked Kentucky. Set. Play action, Woodson rolls out, he's got a man in his face, it's tipped and caught for a touchdown. T.C. Drake, the second team tight end. First catch, first TD catch, obviously. New Orleans, high school teammate of Dickie Lyons. He goes out, Woodson pulls up the run, and he will score. He trails by 13. Andre Woodson into the end zone. Caught, touchdown. Easy, easy. Jacob Tammy, the tight end. So easy. Play fake. Flynn goes deep. Brandon LaFell intercepted. Javard Lindley. Seven yards away. I think I'd rather just go for it, but he knows him. I'll go with Les Miles. On the way. No, short. But it wasn't that short. Number 40 is the blocking back. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Touchdown, Wildcats. There's the wide receiver left, and Johnson bottom of the screen. Woodson pumps once, hit from behind in the end zone. Diving catch, all alone. Steve Johnson. Flynn. Scott, I don't know. I don't think so. No way. Kentucky wins.